Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Dr. Károly Zsolnai Fehér. Scientists at NVIDIA knocked it out of the park with this one. Look, they are training an AI that moves this virtual robot arm to finish everyday tasks on this table. Hmm, let's see. It picks up the toy school bus. So far, so good. But wait a second. This is not good at all. It should have grabbed the sea clamp here, not the toy school bus. Why is that? Well, it has only seen one demonstration to learn from yet, so these are just the humble beginnings. Now, let's look at what it can do after seeing 10 demonstrations. And, yes, that is so cool. Learning is happening. The C clamp goes in the box successfully. Wonderful. And now for the crayon box. That is not a crayon box. And neither is that one. And it's not that one either. Oh my goodness. Now hold on to your papers and let's see what it learned after looking at still as few as a hundred demonstrations. C clamp into the box. Crayon box two. Toy school bus, get in that box. And. Yes, finally, the rest seems to work fine too. I love it. Good job, little AI. And if you were wondering, this is a porcelain plate. And that is twist number one. Learning happening from very few image action pairs. How many exactly? Well, it learned to do this and more from only 179 image action pairs. That, in the area of learning-based techniques, is almost nothing at all. Wow! And it gets better. One of the most mind-blowing results is that, from these very few examples, it also learned to deal with previously unseen colors and words. And not only that, but it was also able to learn a wide variety of tasks from these 179 examples. And its capabilities just keep going on and on and on. Absolutely amazing. Okay, now that is all well and good. But still, this is a robot arm that can play a computer game. Is that it? Why make a video about this? Why is this so important? Well, now, I give you the two more twists that breathe new life into this project. Twist number two. We can use natural language to give instructions to these robots. Move the rock one block left. Yes. And twist number three. If you have been holding on to your paper so far, now squeeze that paper because the knowledge it learned in the simulation transfers to reality. We come out of the video game world into the real world and the AI still works wonderfully. Let's have a look. It can move chess pieces. Great work, little AI. I love it. But this was a solid chess piece. You know what? Let's try something that requires a little more delicacy. Let's see. Oh yes, folding and unfolding a piece of cloth is also not a problem. That requires delicate movement. So good. I love it. But let's try something that requires even more finesse. Yes, putting cherries in a box. That is really cool. Sweeping also works. Kind of. As long as we are looking to sweep beans. And believe it or not, it can even read. Again, Kind of. You see, we can label two boxes that will contain the good and bad stuff. And then instruct the AI as follows. Place the blue screwdriver in the bad box. This worked well and it will work even if we try to be a bit more tricky and swap the labels. Place the clip in the bad box. And as you see, it is not falling for it. I will have to give partial credit for the drop, 
But still, all this from less than 200 demonstrations, that is incredible. So cool. And what you see here is what researchers refer to as seem to real, teaching an AI something in a simulated world and then deploying it into the real world. Okay, so what is all this good for? Here is an amazing example. Look, OpenAI trained their robot hand in a simulation to be able to rotate these Rubik cubes and then deploy this software onto a real robot hand and look, it can use this simulation knowledge and now it works in the real world too. But seem to real has relevance to self-driving cars too. Look, Tesla is already working on creating virtual worlds and training their cars there. One of the advantages of that is that we can create really unlikely and potentially unsafe scenarios, but in these virtual worlds, the self-driving car can train itself safely. And when we deploy them into the real world, they will have all this knowledge. It is fantastic to see that Waymo is also moving in this direction. As you see, sim to real is real. And NVIDIA's new technique also puts us one step closer to a future where this kind of intelligence can be democratized and used by everyone. What a time to be alive! This episode has been supported by Lambda GPU Cloud. If you're looking for inexpensive cloud GPUs for AI, check out Lambda GPU Cloud. Get this, they've recently launched an NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 gigabytes of memory. And hold on to your papers because Lambda GPU Cloud can cost less than half of AWS and Azure. Join researchers at organizations like Apple, MIT, and Caltech in using Lambda Cloud instances, workstations, or servers. Make sure to go to lambdalabs.com slash papers to sign up for one of their amazing GPU instances today. Our thanks to Lambda for their long-standing support and for helping us make better videos for you. Thanks for watching and for your generous support, and I'll see you next time.